Hello everyone, and today I'll be talking about Shadow Raid and what makes it so good. So Shadow Raid, a map we've all played a bunch of times. I myself almost completed it a hundred times, and still I am not tired of it at all. So what does make Shadow Raid fun? I'll be going over three subjects in this video. Gameplay, map layout, and guard AI. First, we'll start with gameplay. Another fun which comes from the map is that it mostly is random, at least at how the loot spawns. When you start the heist, you must find a way to enter the warehouse, find loot, secure it, then get out. The places you can find loot at are mostly random too. Most of the loot you will find will come from the crates that are at specific spots in the warehouse, and to open them you will need to have a crowbar, which can be found randomly at its spawn points. The loot you will be able to find from these crates are coke, money, weapons, gold, and artifacts. The other three loot you will have to find from a special place set for it. A painting which can be found in the painting crate which spawns in a random spot. A server which might be either in the security room, either known as the camera room, or the computer room on the same floor. And the last one which is in the vault, the samurai armor, which is four pieces. But not all of the loot is inside the warehouse. You can also find loot outside the warehouse in the courtyard. You can find money bundles which are hidden inside the red crates which have murky water written on them. Now let's go over the map layout. For me I think the big thing about Shadow Raid is the many ways you can approach this map and your objective. There's a lot of ways to go that I will quickly go over and while I might know where everything is, I don't think there was ever a time I did the same thing. Just as an example, if you bought the thermite paste acid, you could open up to two of the sewer grates. Or you can enter from the main gate, find red murky water crates, open them, and see if you can find any money bundles in them. You can also go to the stairs right of the main gate, climb up the steps and get on the roof of the building and then jump onto the top of the crate. But I think it's much more risky. The other way is going is to the left of the main gate where the alleyway is. On the harder difficulties there is always a guard there Or, you can go to the alleyway and climb up the ladder to get on the roof of the building. You can jump from the roof of the building to the roof of the warehouse and then get in from the top. Inside the warehouse there are many crates to be found. While playing the map normally without buying any assets can be fun, I don't think moving the bags you get from inside the warehouse to the car would be much fun. That's why in pre-planning you can buy different ways to secure loot, which would be much easier. The loot drop-off point or the bag zipline. I think the loot drop-off point is much easier to use as you have easy access to it. It's faster than the bag zipline, which will take a couple of seconds to carry the bag over to the boat, or the roof of the building, which has the steps I was talking about before, and then will take a couple more seconds to come back for you to put another bag on it. I like to take the waterfront garbage drop-off point, as it's much more useful and much faster than the bag zipline, and if you killed the alleyway guard, it's much easier to secure loot without having to worry about being detected. Now let's move on to the guard AI. Now the guard AI, it's not bad, but it's also not good. If you remember the patterns of the guard pathing, 
you will have an easy time knowing where they're going to stop while walking to one of their stop points. Also, in Shadow Raid, the guards have also been known to just stop walking entirely and just stand still for the rest of the heist. Unless you kill them, of course. There's not much to say about the guard AI, except that it could use some polish. But other than that, I think Shadow Raid is a great heist. It also gives quite good money if you get most of the loot. I think it should be around 10 million on one down if you got most of the loot. Well, yes, it can be frustrating at times. I do love the map, and it's definitely one of my favorite ones on Payday 2.